A small town, uh, small town Montana school making a name for itself as it's chosen to reopen in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is the first school in the state, possibly the nation, to make that call. MTN's Cody Boyer shows us how it's possible. For most in Willow Creek, they say if you're not looking, you might miss it if you're just passing through. But for Willow Creek Public School, they might be one of the first to reopen in the country amid the pandemic. One, two, three, four, five. This is what we need to do for the parents and for our students. This is part of a new reality for Superintendent Bonnie Lauer, 18 staff members and only 56 students. Names are on the desk, ready to roll. We have a lot of working parents. Two parents are at work all day long and they've got multiple students sitting at home trying to do their work. Lauer met with the board. Come May 7th, they decided to leave the option to parents open. We polled our parents and 76% of the students will be coming back to school. The parents have a choice to opt out and do the offsite learning. Lauer says many parents do not have the internet or the resources to do remote learning outside of packets. Being among the first to reopen nationwide, every precaution must be taken. We're putting all the safety measures that we possibly can into opening. That includes in the classroom, with six foot pool noodles in every classroom and desks already put six feet apart. Custodians will clean bathrooms routinely after each use. The Bus will look way different, obviously. The kids won't be allowed to get on the bus so they have their temperature taken. And if they have a 99 or better temperature, they won't come that day. That's their crayons, their scissors. Kindergarten teachers like Haley Hurst see reopening as a positive sign. It's important to see where your kids are going into the next year. And, and that's what I'm most grateful for as the school opening happens, is just to be able to assess my students. If you don't know it about kindergarten teachers, it's about being able to say goodbye. To just say goodbye and get their blankets for nap time. That's so important, such important closure, I feel like. But Lauer gets it, and she says every precaution is being watched closely. We have very small numbers, and that's the only reason we can open. In Willow Creek, Cody Boyer, MTN News.